Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to go ahead and set up paycheck one. I did get paid for the first Tuesday of March, which is right over here. And here I have a bunch of things that this paycheck covered, including cash envelope stuffing, payments to um, bill dues that I have for like the first probably two weeks of the month and then um, I already have some expenses going on over here so I just want to go ahead and put that all down on paper so I can keep track of everything that's going on if you guys haven't seen this video I'll link it up in a card above I think this is going to go up before my paycheck one since I wanted to set up my functional pages up um, where I track my weekly expenses, my debt, my sinking funds, the spending of these two things so yeah um, if you guys haven't seen my monthly budget layout i'll link it up in a card above as well but let's get into paycheck one since i'm trying to really get ahead of my bills i'm trying to make sure that I, you know since i am self-employed i'm trying to make sure that i stay on top of everything like that when april comes i'm not so stressed because being self-employed can become stressful because you are your own paycheck and my god <laughs> that can be scary um hopefully by now i have my april kits released if i haven't well man erica get on your a game hopefully by now i'm working on may <laughs> but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and put these down um, this is for paycheck one and if you guys are interested or you guys want some backstory on me my name is erica i am 29 i am currently self-employed going to school full-time as well and I run a sticker shop which is where I sell all of the stickers that you see on here for budgeting I also have doodles and stickers for planning in case you're a life planner like me and sorry for all the noise you guys there's like people moving in or out of the apartment building but anywho um my paydays consist of everything that i make through my sticker shop that is what supports me and my lifestyle and then once a month i do get paid out through affiliate links and then through like youtube so that also kind of helps boost my kind of income over here so yeah um so for paycheck one it's all gonna be from my shop so erica light blogs sorry someone's out there just whacking away at something i'm gonna leave a gap just in case um i do get something in within the week because i never know <laughs> so now that i have that down i'm gonna go ahead and break it off so i can now write the bills that are gonna take place so one of the things that I do got to put up here is savings. So savings here is um, the rent that I saved the prior month to pay this month's rent. So what I'm pulling from my savings and putting it and dumping it back into my checking account is 1350 So that's exactly what I'm pulling out of my savings to pay for my month bill for rent on march lord i can't talk today <laughs> so basically what i'm going to go ahead and do is everything all the bills that are here is what i'm going to go ahead and line up for my paycheck one so first one is march rent and that is 1350 and that came out of savings next one is my ikea credit card which is my debt and that one has a minimum payment of 35 dollars we then have to pay my spotify subscription and that one is 4.99 my medical bill or like insurance medical insurance needs to get paid as well and that one is for 138.82 this covers dental medical vision and life insurance i believe after that i do have to pay my student loan and that is for 125 dollars and then i do have my natural gas bill i don't know why i'm deciding to write in cursive like i'm just not a cursive person <laughs> And that one is for $8.74. And then the last bill that I have to take care of is my phone bill. So my phone bill is $57. And that is everything that I think I'm going to take care of 
with this paycheck. I think that was it. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys out a bit just so I can check out here in the front. So I got this all out of the way. Yeah, that's all I have to do. And then my cash envelopes. So let me go ahead and close this part of my budget for bills because that's all done with. And then I'm going to go ahead and put everything that I want to do for my cash envelopes. So this time around, I am going to do just like a solid one dump and go for all cash envelopes. I won't do it on a bi-weekly basis. I'm just going to give myself everything that I need for the month. And then I just have to figure out what is it that I actually need or like how much I need to spend so I don't overdo it with like by mid-month basically. So the first one is categories for food. And then the other one is gasoline. And that is it. So for food, I'm considering what I used to call spending and groceries as one. Now I did decide that I needed $75 um, weekly for groceries. I mean, bi-weekly for groceries and then 60 for spending. So in total, I needed 135 bi-weekly. And if I multiply that by two, uh, 270 for the entire month, and then I need to give myself $100 for gas for the entire month. So 370 is what I'm gonna give myself for the entire month over here. So 270 is dedicated for food, which is eating out, groceries, coffee, all that kind of stuff, and then $100 for gas. Gas might go up since gas is reaching almost $6 a gallon over here in LA. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> I don't want to be leaving anywhere. So that's that. So in total, cash envelopes is getting $370 right there now let me go ahead and add up this section so I can tell you how much I need for bills so I need $1,719.55 for bills and out of that $1,350 is rent so about like $370 for bills for this um, first two weeks of the month. And that is all that I'm gonna go ahead and do for this section since um, I don't wanna take care of anything else until like my next paycheck. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my budget breakdown here. Now I don't disclose my income cause it's for like my business. However, I do put what I consume of that gained income. So at least you guys know like, approximately how much I'm consuming of what I'm making. So for bills, I need 1,719.55 and then for cash envelopes, 370. So for this time around, I'm consuming about 2,089.55. So yeah. That is what paycheck one is looking like. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Got me through the first two weeks of March. And then when I get paid again, I'm hoping that that will take me to the end of the month. And then I don't have to worry too much about anything else. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see the rest of the setup over here, I'll have a playlist down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, you guys. Bye.